Hey yo, what's up guys? So you guys know that recently I got into FPV droning. And it's all because of this guy, the DJI FPV drone. So a lot of people are going to be getting into FPV and getting into this hobby. So I think it's essential they understand what FPV actually is. Now FPV stands for first person view. I've been flying regular camera drones for quite a while and if you're a beginner these are still the ones that I recommend that you start with but if you're gonna get into FPV I think it's important that you understand what makes FPV well FPV The first thing is completely how you live the experience and it's all through these FPV goggles. Now for regular camera drones you're going to be putting your phone onto a controller and that's what's going to serve as your real time vision into what the drone is seeing. But with FPV you actually put these goggles onto your head and everything the drone sees is what you're going to be seeing through these goggles at extremely low latency. So it's the most exhilarating way to experience flight. You literally feel like a damn bird. But the thing is that if you feel that you get motion sick a little bit easily, um, that's something you're going to have to get used to. Okay, so the second difference is that these drones fly completely manual and that means you can pull off some pretty crazy maneuvers like the drone will literally fly however you want it to fly you can do barrel rolls you can do power loops you can literally fly upside down if you want but that means that full manual can be pretty dangerous as well it's definitely a skill that requires a lot of practice and a lot of training to get the hang of so with full manual comes great responsibility not to sound like Uncle Ben or anything. Now, the third major difference is extreme velocity. If you're looking for a drone that you want to use to chase a Lamborghini in the middle of the desert in Dubai, this is the one. It does 0 to 100 in two seconds. That's right, two seconds. Now, like I said earlier, these drones are fully manual. There's no obstacle avoidance. They don't even hover on their own, which makes them easy to crash. Really, really easy. So if you're thinking about getting into FPV, that's something that you're going to have to get comfortable with. You're going to have to be like, hey, at some point I'm going to crash and it's going to cost me money to fix that. But this is where the DJI FPV drone is a little special. It actually does have front facing sensors when you're in normal mode. It's able to hover on its own when you're in normal and sports mode. So it actually takes away some of the difficult barriers of entry into FPV, which is one of the reasons I think a lot of people are going to gravitate towards this drone as their first FPV drone and their entry into this sport or this hobby. So I'm going to be putting out a video pretty soon explaining the differences between an FPV drone and a camera drone and which one might be best for you. So if you wanted to know what FPV is, this is it. It's immersive, it's fast, it's crazy, and it's a lot of damn fun. So hopefully if you're thinking about getting into FPV or 
getting into droning in general, this video kind of inspires you to do that. And if it did, and if you enjoyed it, as always, hit that like button, smash that thumbs up. It really helps out this video. If you guys enjoy drone photography and filmmaking content in general, subscribe to my channel. I definitely really appreciate it. Other than that, that's all I have for this video. I'll see you guys next time. And until then, keep creating.